I'm George Peters, and you're watching The Red Booth Show. Hi, welcome to The Red Booth Show. I'm your host, Kimberly Q. On tonight's episode, I have George Peters. He's an amazing genius behind the scenes filmmaker that's won Oscars, Emmys, and SOC Lifetime Achievement Awards, if you know what that is. Anyways, come and join us and hear all about it. So hey George, how's it going? It's going good. Thanks for having me here on the Red Booth. I love the pinup girl dress. Thank you. I'm sponsored by Pinup Girl Clothing, actually. I love it. I love the. It's comfortable. I feel good here. Well, you know, I figured I wouldn't be too fancy since you're like, you know, kind of came in your casual clothes hanging out in my booth. It's good. Nice and chill. Usually a t-shirt and flip-flops, but I thought I'd pick it <laughs> up a notch up for a your bit. show. That's exactly. Right. That's right. Now, I want everybody to know kind of what you do is pretty cool and interesting. It's very different from some of my usual guests because you're behind the scenes and you're like the genius doing all sorts of technical things to the point where you've won a ton of awards actually for it. Yeah, I have. Thank you. I'm uh, very fortunate that uh, people that that understand the things that I do uh, give me an award for it because it's, yeah, it <laughs> takes they know how bit, hard it is. Right? Takes a little bit of work to yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, why don't you go ahead and toot your horn and tell us what those? Well, are. I don't want to toot my horn, I, but uh, I mean, I've been fortunate. I got to tell you, I've won Academy Awards, I've won uh, the Emmys, Lifetime Achievement Awards, and uh, it's you know. It's awesome. I mean, obviously, a lot of hard hard work goes into it. You know, you can't just throw it out there and win. You know, I was told by some of the biggest people in the industry, you will not win an Academy Award. Really? And they're like, no, you won't. Okay. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Well, you haven't been in bit. Technocrane's been in business twenty two years. They haven't won one. Uh, blah 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 blah. I'm like, okay, so I should just give up. <laughs> you know, but no. Don't listen know? to those people. Yeah, yeah. Twenty four months later, I won one. So did you get to go up on stage? And yes, I did. Were you super nervous? Uh, yeah, I was. I was very nervous actually. Uh, I just winged it. You know, I didn't even write a speech or anything. I just uh, thanked the people that helped me get there, and uh, you know, it's kind of the the way I you know I didn't need to write anything. So when you won the Academy mm -hmm. Award, what mm -hmm. movie was this for? It's for a body of work. It's it's a technical achievement. So you have to do features and you know worldwide and you have to do uh you know but you have to have a you have to have something that's different or special and they considered the ultimate arm that I developed uh, to be so you're a like the inventor of that. Yeah, to yeah. build a significant improvement. So mm -hmm. then they gave me a, a Academy Award. That's so cool. Thank you. Try to explain to everyone out there that doesn't know this business. What it is. What is Ultimate Arm? Ultimate Arm is a gyro-stabilized camera platform. So it doesn't matter. Even if you're driving down a staircase, the image is stable. And the interesting thing, the, the reason I won an Academy Award is because I tried something completely different. And uh, growing up in the film industry my whole life and, and rigging cameras on cars and things like this, it was with like difficult. duct tape. No, nah, but yeah, kind of. I started with wood, believe it or not. Oh, really? That's how long I've been doing. We started using wood. Now nice. they, you know what? But I realized that every time you build a camera, the camera would shake a little bit in one direction. So I started developing products to stop that, to eliminate it. And I dated a girl for uh, for six and a half years, uh, Jennifer Chapman, who's uh, the Chapman Studio Equipment uh, okay. fame, right? And he's you know he's won many Academy Awards. And I kept trying to get him to change some of his systems. Hey, look, we can make this better, you know? And no, George, no, you can't. And I just don't take no for an answer. So I said, okay, I'm gonna build my own. Watch this, and this is how it's gonna work. And uh, he said, go ahead, George, I wish you luck. <laughs> and uh, it, it worked. So that's, you know, that's how I got to the Academy Award and to the, to the, you know, to the acclaim in the ultimate arm business. I started out in the, in the film industry as a grip. Uh, at like 17 years old. Oh wow! So I was fortunate to have family. You know, they say, they say that there's only two ways to get into the film business: it's nepotism or knee pads. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so it's really difficult. And uh, and you know, my my stepbrother was in the he's 12 years older and he was in the film business. So he kind of introduced me to some of the people in the gripping industry. So I went that route. 
at a young so age. So everybody, a grip is basically somebody that helps to move the equipment and no, the No, grips, and grips are, uh, that's different. It's a little, I can explain. Grips are, um, they work with the lighting and shadows and rigging, and they're actually the safety officers on the set. They're engineers. You have to be basically an engineer because when you're rigging cameras or lights over people's heads, if they fall, it's going to be bad. Yeah. So you really need to, you know, learn how to engineer and how to rig, make things safe and uh, things like that. It's a very difficult job. A key grip is is pretty much the most important job on the set. Yes, you need lighting and you need cameras, but if you don't have a key grip that knows what he's doing, things get ugly and people get hurt. Pandemonium. Yeah, basically. All right. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> and on that note, we actually have to take a quick break, but okay. we'll be right back with George Peters. I really wanted to put a deck on my house. The floor was creaking and there were cracks in the wall. I had them put in walls in my basement. Well, the whole thing was done on time, on budget, and not a day of work was missed. Alpha Structural is a top-rate company. I'd recommend them to anybody. If you live in a hillside home and gravity is pulling you towards the edge of the cliff, I recommend you call Alpha. It was a real pleasure to work with Alpha. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Bye-bye. Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably okay isn't okay. Right. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on them. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We are here with technical filmmaker, is that what you would call it? Technician uh, George Peters. Yeah, I guess you could call that. Slash engineer, developer, Slash equipment engineer. developer. That's what I like to do. I, that's my, that's my dream job. Invent things that there you go. Invent things that make the film industry better. Cool. That's the, that's the, that's the fun part of my job. People tell me, you know, what do you do for a living? Well, I actually have fun. I don't really work. <laughs> I get to build things that I like to build and that's it. That's <laughs> so, awesome. so it's really not a job when you really like what you do. That is very true. Yeah. And I, so you started out as a grip, you said when you were 17. Mm -hmm. How did you come to that decision and where were you? Well, fortunately, my stepbrother, since I was two years old, he was living with a guy named Austin McCann, who was like one of the best, uh, you know, ADs in the industry and, and uh, for years. So they lived together and he kept talking about the film business since I was growing up. So my whole life growing up, I was going to be in the film business. Uh, that was my career. That's what I was going to do because he could come home. He would come home and talk about his job that day's work or whatever. Yeah. So it really was exciting to me. Super curious. Yeah, about I was really curious. I said, no, I, teachers would go, George. I'd say, you know, it's it's so funny. Like in my math class in high school or in elementary uh, school, George, you need to learn your math. I don't need math. I don't, I'm going to be in the film business. But guess what? <laughs> now I need math so much. You need you know, math all the time. Every single day, 100 times a day. So kids, do learn your math. Trust Stay in me. school. Stay in school, learn your math. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so that that's just, it's interesting. Yeah, that, that's how it goes. That's cool. Okay, good. So you were a grip, and then you developed this this new thing, I know, a I little saw, while later. Yeah, I saw a need in the industry that we needed, that the image was not stable. It doesn't matter what you do. And my job as a grip is to make a stable image. Right. So you try to make a stable image. We go through all these, jump through all these hoops to get the image stable. And we we were lacking. It seems know? like in the last 10 years, there's been a it, lot more stabilizers, lot right? Since like it us. went from really. Since, okay. uh, since the Ultimate Arm, since I developed the Ultimate Arm in like 2001 or 2002, right around there. Um, the industry's come a long ways. For a long time, we were the only ones that did it. And now there's the technology's getting out there and you see the drones and all the different things. So it's starting to pick up speed now. But it's basically, I built it out of the necessity because we needed the stable images. And, and some of the other products I developed, like the spray deflector. So nobody has a spray, def spray deflector that can spin 5,000 RPMs, keep the lens clean. And like, when you see the movie like Inception, the rain scene in, Recep in Inception, all of that is shot with my spray deflectors because they're the only ones that actually worked. And I only did it out of necessity. Look, I can't use anybody else's because it doesn't work. 
So I'll build my own. So in, order, in other words, to keep the, the rain and the water from getting onto the camera lens. Yeah, it's another product that I develop, right. So it's so, you know, and right now I'm making it for helicopters. Right now the game is in helicopters. If, it, if it's moist out, you can't fly, you can't shoot. You can't do anything. You gotta land and wipe the lens every time you get a one drain drop on the lens. It's useless. Yeah. So I'm developing one for that now, and uh, so they won't have to do that anymore. That's amazing. <laughs> but everything I develop is out of necessity, basically. Just yeah. to, I find a, a hole in a system that we don't have or doesn't work right, and I want to fix it. Cool. Yeah. Now you've worked on a ton of different projects and movies, and with a lot of different directors. So I think it'd be cool to hear some of those stories. <laughs> some of the we, we, the actress and actor stories. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. I've been really fortunate. I got to tell you. I mean, I I I, I worked for Joe Pitka, and uh, you know, if they look him up, Joe Pitka, <laughs> he's like the biggest director, commercial director in the world. And with him, I got a chance to work with everybody from Madonna, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. You know. Every Pepsi, Doritos, Apple, you know, commercial in the world. Crazy you know. big. Yeah, projects. we would do 53, you know, commercials a year just with him and every one over $2 million, you know. 53. That's 51, more than once a week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, directors like Rick Levine and and uh, Bob Giraldi, all the light beer from Miller commercials, taste great, less filling. I mean, the, you know, people that are older know, you know. Um, so I've been really fortunate to work with these guys and, and, and spew. So you've met Madonna? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. What was that like? She's awesome. You know, um, there's many stories there that uh, I'd love to tell you on this show, but uh, I don't and? know. I don't know. Can we? Am I going to get in trouble? You know? <laughs> um, just don't use swear words. Swear words, right. You can say everything else. Well, just that's, not part of the, that's part of the problem. Oh, shoot. But okay, yeah, well, lo um, lots of actors. Michael Jackson, you know, what a great guy. All the basketball, everybody that plays basketball. Shaquille and Neil, we traveled all over the United States shooting every major star, basketball star. That's crazy. Yeah, so I've been really fortunate. We have fortunate. to take a quick break, though. But I don't want to stop. You're, I, I love know. being here with you. Well, we'll keep talking after we come back. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Come right back with George Peters. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. You don't go to college. College goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. And all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet, are included with tuition. Independence U for an independent you. 1-800-464-6830. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. And welcome back to the Rugby Show. We are here with George Peters. So you were just saying you were asking me about directors and movies and things that I worked with and Madonna and Madonna and actresses and actors. That's right. And you're and, gonna tell me some crazy you know, story like, about I Madonna. Tell, I could tell you those, about? but my gosh, I don't know. She'd kill me. <laughs> but uh, it's like like Cindy Crawford. You know, like people say, who have you, who, who do you, who's your favorite? Well. Cindy Crawford, I'm telling you, the girl floats. She doesn't touch the ground when she walks. She's so gorgeous, you know? And I got a chance, I was standing there by, by, uh, by this, by this uh, piece of uh, film equipment, and she's pushing this lawnmower for Pepsi back and forth, and she kind of got close to me, right? And she said, oh, I'm sorry, did I get too close to you? I looked at her and I said, Cindy, you can't get close enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so those are fun, but uh, some of the d directors I've worked with, I've been really, really fortunate and blessed in this industry to be able to work with, like, Steven Spielberg, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, and you know, just, I mean, just. That's insane. Just, you know, just, just, just dream jobs people. that people would, you know, die for. But I got 
to tell you, it takes a lot of work and people that want to be in the business, you know, don't let anybody tell you no. You know, that's no, you're not going to be able to be in the business or no, you can't do that. You know, you just yeah. have to say, yes, I can. And you yeah. don't, you make nothing stop you. Exactly. And you can have the same kind of fun for sure. For, that's what I tell kids out there, you know, just uh, stay in school. And then when you're, when you just follow your dream, whatever it is, if you have a dream, go for it and it'll come true. Yeah. As long as you work on it, all my dreams come true. Yeah. Every, every, you know. I and mean, it's not just working hard like where people yeah. are like are employing you. It's more like work hard figuring out what yeah, the absolutely. thing is. Like use your smarts to figure out oh, the, absolutely. the path and what you're going to do. Whatever like, you're, you know, it's like yeah. if people think, oh, I just have to work hard. You know, I got to pick up that trash can and, and dump it. No, 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 no. It's useful work. Yeah. You want to yeah. point in a direction and then you get all the help you can to help you go in that direction, whatever yeah. it's going to take, yeah. you know, but you can't, you can't just mention those directors and then not say any story about stories them. about, I mean, him. like there's Quentin Tarantino. He's What's awesome. A good story about He's him? awesome. I love his well, movies. Well, you know, I mean, in the ultimate arm, it's a vehicle with a crane and it's, yeah. you know, and, uh, and I build the vehicles and the cranes and all this stuff. And I'm sitting in the car with Tarantino and uh, uh, Bob Richardson, the, the DP, you know, Academy Award winner, Tentino's Academy Award winner. And, and and I didn't know that he knew, but we're talking about movies and he's giving me a hard time because I said, oh, I didn't see that one. He's like, we well, don't watch my movies. I'm like, I mean, I just didn't see that one. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, and uh, he says, uh, he said, it's nice to be sitting in a car with uh, with three Academy Award winners. And I looked at him and I like went, he knows that I won an Academy Award? That's you awesome. know, oh, come on, I, it's a dream come true. I've got the one of the best directors in the world sitting me, the one of the best cameramen in the world sitting me. <sighs> my dreams are coming true, you know, and that's what I was talking about dreams, you know, whatever it is, my dreams come true. I mean, people in the film business say, oh, Academy Award, you've won a big award, whatever, right? But for me to win the Baja 1000 was a dream. Guess what? I won a Baja 1000. You know, that's because right. that's, that's a dream. That's a whole other life, by the way, which is totally separate. From I like to off-road race, yeah. for sure. I, I race off-road race professionally in unlimited suspension, unlimited horsepower. Nice. So it's a little bit crazy, and uh, you risk your life a thousand times in a race, but uh, the adrenaline is like nothing more, you know? But that was a dream from a little kid. I wanted to win a Baja 1000, you know? And uh, it, you just I wasn't going to stop until I did. So that's just what it is. You just have to make sure, whatever your dreams are, make sure you push that direction as hard as you can. That's right. Yeah. Don't give up. No. And what movie was this that you were sitting in the car with Quentin Turner? Uh, Hateful Eight. Oh, my God. Yeah, Hateful Eight. Yeah, that was awesome. Beautiful images. And, you know, like I said, what a genius. Tarantino, And you know, I got to really get to know him a little, little more because I was working closely with him, and I didn't realize... That he writes all his own movies, yeah. he directs all his own movies, and then when somebody steals, like they they stole the uh, script and published it somehow. Shit. So he wrote three different endings, shot three different endings, and then you then he can put it the way he wants, and nobody can steal it from him. You know, it's just it's it's like really, guys, you steal the script from him and you post it. It's like I, I can't believe that someone would do that, but that's what they did. So so messed up. I didn't realize that he does everything. Yeah. You know, and uh, what a great guy. And, and just to be so fortunate to be able to work for people like this. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, okay, so we have to take another quick break. Okay. And we'll be right back with George Peters. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. In the park on a bench, on the beach on a towel, or on your couch with your kid, your campus is wherever you want it to be. You don't go to college, college goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. 
You schedule classes around your schedule and all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet are included with tuition. At Independence U, you'll learn from professional instructors with real work experience. You'll get personal support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree, but keep your life. That's Independence. That's Independence University. So if you're really smart, you'd call now. Call 1-800-466-0560. Independence U for an independent you. Call 1-800-466-0560. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new red copper cookware. The revolutionary pan made with nonstick ceramic and super strong copper. Guaranteed to stay scratch free forever. It's lightweight yet super strong, so it won't scratch, peel, or chip into your food. Red copper is a baking pan with a handle that goes into the oven up to 500 degrees. And everything slides right out. Cook my healthy, crispy chicken fingers with little or no fat or oil. Chop steak and onion for a melty Philly cheesesteak. Absolutely no sticking. Or whisk eggs without a mixing bowl. Truly a time saver. Call now and receive my 10-inch red copper pan for just $19.99. Plus, get my recipe book free. Call now and you can double the offer and receive a second set. Plus, our new forever sharp copper knife. Just pay a separate fee. Razor sharp and food slides right off. An incredible value. Call now. Call 1-800-488-9190 to get your special offer red copper pan. Call now or go to redcopperpan.com. So call 1-800-488-9190. Call now. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I think my face is turning red because of the stories that he's just telling us on set. Off-camera stories, only off-camera stories. cannot be told on television. <laughs> Anyways, quite interesting stuff here. Um, so this is George Peters, by the way, if you're just joining us. And he is a behind-the-scenes guru inventor for the film industry. Um, and he's worked with tons of people. Now, I know you talked. You just talked about Quentin Tarantino. You've also worked with Steven Spielberg. Right, um, right. Which, what movie was that? Uh, the Crystal with? Skull. Uh, I forget Is that the, the Indiana Jones one? Indiana Jones, oh, okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah, all that stuff through the, uh, through the you jungle. Did Harrison Ford? Yeah, and, and I, you ah, know, I worked with them awesome. too. I did Cowboys and Aliens and... Um, uh, with with Daniel Craig and you know and James Bond, you know I did the last two James Bonds and you did the with James those Bond? guys, oh my yeah, God. yeah, I got to do those with uh, with Daniel Craig also, and then we did. What was Daniel Craig like? What a great guy, great guy, That's awesome awesome cool. guy. I gotta tell you, he's an awesome guy. He like my brother-in-law who works for me. We were in Panama shooting one of the James Bonds, and we're in this remote area that you didn't really want to leave the hotel. It was a little bit dangerous in Cologne and. Uh, so he came down to the bar and started talking to Mike, and they were talking about motorcycles and stuff. And next thing you know, that one of the day, a few days later, he Daniel Craig's knocking on the, Mike's talking to his girlfriend on the phone, and Daniel knocks on the door, and and uh, Mike answers the door. He's like, uh, "Just a minute, let me call you back." Daniel Craig's at the door, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and he says, "Hey, Mike, you want to go to dinner?" You know, he's just a really, really good, super good guy and a great actor. And uh, it was I've done a, like four or five movies with him. And had a blast, you know. He's just an awesome guy, for sure, Daniel Craig. That's cool. Being in my job, I mean, I'm literally blessed to be able to work with so many interesting people. Uh, it's just, it's just... Would you say that the majority of these guys who are really successful are actually very kind-hearted? Or, like, because there's all that stigma, like, you know, people who are really famous, like, you think that they're going to be whatever, well, uh, you know, but they actually seem to be usually pretty cool. Right. Unfortunately, the film is just, is a cesspool of egos. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, from the, some of the crew guys to, to the directors or whatever, they think they're better than everybody else. But then again, you got the guys that are really nice and really hard workers, like I was talking about Tarantino. There's no ego there. He doesn't have an ego. He's just a straight, you know, I'm going to do my job and I'm going to, and we're going to get this done. And there's, you know, I mean, yes, he's kicked people off the set and stuff for not doing their job properly. And I don't blame them, you yeah. know, especially when they're told three, four, five times, Yeah. you know, and, uh, you well, know, yeah, it holds up the whole show. So. Yeah, well, they're, yeah, they, they're down days because their equipment doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, we'll get it working. Well, now it doesn't work again. Get it working. Now it doesn't work again. Get out. Yeah. You know, I paid you $100,000 and you still can't make it work, you know, so that kind of stuff. So in my profession, you know, uh, you know, we have to be on time. We have to make sure our stuff works. And uh, unfortunately, we've been lucky enough to be able to not have those kind of problems, you know. So, you know, you get, you get called back, let's say. That's good. Well, yeah. obviously, that's working out for you pretty well, I'd say, right? 
you know, it is. It's like, it's, I'm not a money guy. So it's not about money or any of that kind of stuff. I'm a, I'm a developer yeah. and a en engineer developer. And I have great guys working for me and working with me. And it's not about the money. People say, oh, you must be raking a lot of money, George. You know, working all these big movies. and blah. No, I probably do. I don't even know because I don't care. It's more about you know, the people that you work with and the, and developing something interesting for that the film business can use mm -hmm. and appreciate. And working on something that you love doing. And it's what I love to do. So yeah. I got, it's a win-win for me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I spend a lot of time in Mexico for sure. Uh, I have a house there on the beach that I like to just go chill at, you know, nice. but when I'm back in LA, I'm, I'm focused and, you know, work as hard as I can to make the next new thing for the film industry that everybody's going to go, wow, you know, I've got a couple new products that are coming out now and I'm really excited to show them. Uh, but, uh, it's just, you know, that's how it is. You just want to go on to the next thing to make the next winning, you know, piece that everybody goes, I need to have one of those. That's super cool. And it's to help their job. It, believe it or not, people, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about seeing the smile on their face when they use my product and go, George, the thing worked great, incredible. Yeah. I always wondered about that too. Like, like you said, the thing that blocks, you know, the the raindrops. Rain like, spinner. how do they shoot that scene? Is it all like CGI raindrops or something? No, how we, do it, we like shoot crazy? it live. We shoot yeah. it real. Like I said, because I'm, you got it from not going on the lens. Like in, in Inception. I mean, that yeah. movie was full of rains. You know, night rain and just yeah. They made rain towers and stuff and. It, every shot was was clean because we finally made a product that actually worked. Yeah, you know, and uh, that's that's uh, that's the benefit of, of this kind of stuff. Getting to you know, for me at least, that's to cool. be able to get a successful that people are happy with. Well, I have to say, it's been so cool having you on the show, especially because, you know, I think it's really important to tell the stories about the behind the scenes because there's actually, you know, you might have two people on camera in the scene, but there's like all of these people behind the scenes making it look the way it does and creating that that image for, for for the viewers out there so you know it takes a lot of work and you know it's people like like george who have elevated our level of you know special effects and just what we get to see on camera so it's really cool i'm happy to get to hear well, your story well thanks for having me and i'm yeah. I, the couch is comfortable i like the booth and <laughs> uh, i love like i said i love the pinup dress and <laughs> thank you you know and anytime i can i can tell you know my story about ultimate arm you know and uh and uh, let let people come and and you know go to our website or whatever to see the kinds of things that we build and we do it's great i mean yeah. you know to some of the stuff we do, we get we'll get like fifty thousand hits. Let's say, right? That's something that we that we posted a picture of something I built. It makes me feel so good that people are interested in something that I my whole passion, my whole life is about. Yeah, you know, it's really really cool. I mean, not that it fi is fifty thousands cool. a lot or whatever. It's not about that. It's just people it's, definitely are. They want to see yeah. what we're doing, and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I'm just having fun doing what I like to do, and. People are interested, you know, yeah, it's so it's really awesome. fun. But thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been so great having you, and um, I look forward to the future. And I know there's maybe a reality show coming out about you, but we didn't get to talk about. Oh, you, you heard we about that. We can't talk. You we can't about talk that. about that. But we're out of time now, <laughs> and just just keep track on George Peters, guys. He's definitely awesome. Cool. Isn't thank he? you so much. Yeah, thanks for being on the show.